Hi, Stephen Ball here at Delphia Ball. We're going to be looking at the T-List view design mode and also the dynamic appearance. Now these are two new features for the T-List view that have come in since the 10 Berlin release and really help speed up the way that we can design and lay out T-List view items uh, for both the items, the headers and the footers. So let's get straight in. So I've got a, a blank application here, um, no code in it, just a, a prototype bind source with a, a few field generators in here. And then I've got a, a list view, which um, I've just added into the form. So let's just go ahead and bind visually. Uh, we're just going to say, let's keep this in sync. And let's just put the, uh, here we've got uh, a contact name as the item text. Now this is the, the traditional um, setup for a list view. Now what we can do is we can right click and we can toggle design mode and we're now able to move around and play with how these items are appearing. So for example, uh, I want to change the, the text and maybe let's make that center um, as alignment and let's do a vertical alignment of the text as leading. Uh, maybe we can put some place offset in here and we've got the X and the Y, so maybe we just do five so we can just bring that down. And you can see straight away that as we're modifying these properties, we can see how it's going to look. As we switch back to design mode, we can see now that that's updated. Now, whilst it's great that you can play around with the item appearances, and um, you've also got the, the kind of the headers and the footers that you can play around with here as well, we can also just go ahead now and choose a new one which is dynamic appearance so rather than one of the pre-built options if we go and choose dynamic appearance we're now able to go ahead and let's choose the item here in the in the structure we can see this plus we can go ahead and choose new and we can add in a different object so I'm going to add a second text label in here and let's go ahead and uh, we'll link this one up to text one and the contact title to text two. Now in the design we can see this is kind of a little bit crushed at the moment so let's choose edit two and we can set this to be trailing with the text and the first text one here we can set to be leading. Now we can actually also adjust the size to make sure that they never overlap. Um, you can t turn the word wrap on and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's maybe make the text align here leading and the, the bottom one uh, let's make that trailing and the font let's go change the the style here so it's an italic font. So we're beginning to see a picture and if we just switch back to our normal mode, we can now see how that's going to look. Now finally, I just want to have a look at the edit mode options. So if we go into design mode here and now toggle edit mode, we can now see how our item's going to look when we're in edit mode. Uh, and this is kind of useful because we can again go ahead now and using the item edit option add in different properties that we want to make available. So this allows you to show different properties depending if you're on edit mode or normal mode for the, the list view which is pretty cool. And that's it, that is pretty much what you need to know about the dynamic mode and the new option for designing visually with the list view.